Hello and welcome back to QB Factorium. In our last episode, we did a live experimentation with conveyor belts and uh, sawmills and kilns and automatic smelters and have now set up the ability to smelt everything. Although I see that the charcoal isn't working for some reason. Um, why is that? Does it have to be in a specific slot? It could need to be in the leftmost slot. Let's try that. Although, well, it put that there. Interesting. Try again. Do they need to not be opposite each other? That could be as well. Okay, no. The trains are annoying. And we can't turn the sound down as previously discussed. So we're going to have to live with it, I guess. Yeah, it's not loading uh, the charcoal in from that spot. So let's um, just extend this down. Delete that one. Put one of these here. Delete that. We'll have to recreate it. And we can do this. We'll have to de delete it so we can empty out the slot. Because I don't think there's a way to empty out the slot otherwise. That's fine. I also am looking at how this energy storage works. And uh, the four solar panels uh, charge the network almost up to 700 megawatts. Uh, just before we started. Um, although it should be megawatt hours or megawatt somethings, not. Well, I guess it could be megawatt seconds. That probably is megawatt seconds. Um, yep, it's gone. Okay, so let's do another smelter. Matic smelter. Anything right there. Now we need to move this, uh, this copper first. Come on, somebody. Let's uh, speed it up. And copper blocks. There, it's working now, I think. It's funny how those reach. Or they're laying on the ground and they'll have to be moved again. One or the other. Let's see how well it works. But that's, uh, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, having a couple extra belt links here to make sure that the charcoal goes in the leftmost one is fine for me. Just kind of an interesting uh, thing because it let me load the copper into the first one, but it wouldn't let me load the charcoal into the third one. But it's working now. So we have gold being made, we have iron being made, and we have copper being made in rather large amounts. Uh, we do need to run power up to this, but I wanted to look and see how well these are storing up the energy uh, when they produce six megawatts. They are barely, barely, barely cashing any in the daytime. Uh, so we need definitely need more uh, solar panels. We're going to add a couple more here. And uh, if we can get our network, power network big enough to where we have enough solar panels to generate enough power to not only supply everything during the day, but also to charge the network fully before the nighttime comes and the generation drops down to a half a megawatt, uh, then we would be great. Otherwise, we'll have to build one of these, um, one of these power things here in order to uh, the power station, power plant, uh, and have it burn charcoal or something. Uh, does it produce a consistent amount? That's how you spell power. Power, it needs an O. It produces a hundred. No, it has a capacity of 100 megawatt seconds. Again, assuming. It must produce based on what it's fed. Which kind of makes sense. So, if we more, the more power we need, the more we need to feed it. So we could start with just feeding it logs, just to have a small amount of power being made, and then grow from there if we need to, um, because we may not, uh, depending on how this all works out. But we do need to extend our power network. So let's go ahead and set that up, at least temporarily. Uh, we can always clean this up a little bit as we come up with a way to. Um, let's do it like this. As to come up with the positioning of everything and what else we're going to have in these areas. Because I'm suspecting we're going to need to have more sawmills making this. Uh, let's, uh, let's, well, yeah, let's take this out because I'd rather have a non-automated uh, method of determining this. And we also need to fly in the rest of the, uh, of the logs from other areas. That is 
not what I want there. Try that one instead. So, we have these two. We also need to fly in logs from... Whoa. That was weird. Fly in logs from over here? Somewhere. Here? Apparently I'm already outputting those logs somewhere. But... I have to figure out how I want to do this part, too, because these are all providing... Well, they're providing to this, but this is going to go away. Because we'll be able to just have some of these boards, uh, whether we add more sawmills here or what we do with it exactly, I don't know exactly. But we'll have them running into a basic workshop to make those uh, wooden handles, and for that matter, the uh, then the wooden parts too. So, yeah. Oh, and uh, I think it was Kevin suggested in the comments that I should make some more uh, logistic bots, and Kevin is right. So let's... Uh, transport pods. Let's kick it up to 12 for now and just keep adding more of those because they'll help with the logistics. And also pointed out that the drones might be faster than the zeppelins and they indeed are. So we're going to do away with all the zeppelins and rebuild just as drones, but I'm not going to do that just yet because that's going to be kind of my last thing is figuring out a spot for all the drone factories and putting those down once we get everything else planned out. Okay, so, this, so what this is basically doing is it's just taking in uh, everything and then it'll store up the plums as it, as it needs to. Uh, and then we can bring in... From here, we can bring in the logs to a, a new Zeppelin Depot, I think. What other f trees do we have that are going to prov provide two items? So here in the grassland, oh, let's just do a uh, grove. Uh, one there, one there, one there. Joshua trees are just wood. Uh, they have... Interesting. Joshua trees might actually be the most efficient growth time. They take 240 seconds to grow two logs. Oak trees take 400 seconds to grow three logs. Spruce trees get some nighttime growth, so they take less than the same amount of time to grow two logs. So they might be similar, in fact, to the Joshua trees in production, in fact. Um, we'll have to see how that kind of works out. Oh, somebody's generating power manually. And then uh, up here, the cacao, we're growing cacao here, or growing dates here. We need to also grow cacao. Cacao can also grow in fertile lava, but we only have two small patches, three small patches of fertile lava. So that might not be the best place for that to grow, but let's see what, uh, what we can grow in those groves. Acacia, koa, and a cacao. So actually we're already growing the cacao, and we're growing some other plants here too, though. That's the other thing. No, not grove. Farm. Potato, sorghum, and tea shrub. We don't necessarily need the tea shrubs because we're, we're making tea from flowers. Where's my brewery at? Yeah, I don't see the point in making the tea shrubs unless we just want to have it so that we have it. Which isn't a bad idea. Yeah, we don't need you to grow anything there. So we have one field of potato, one field of sorghum. That's probably enough. So we should be fine, actually, to go ahead and put... Uh, to put the... Um, well, acacia koa... No, those are slow as oaks. And produce only two wooden logs. So we could move the cocoa beans, the cacao trees, to another spot. Um... Black spruce is getting from the icy ground. It's fine. Uh, we could move the cacao trees to another spot here. Uh, one of these other one of these other patches. Okay, stop it. Uh, I zoom out too far every time. And then uh, grove here means I can't put groves in that. Just black spruces. Uh, that's 300 seconds. No nighttime growth. Three logs. That's quite similar, in fact, to the. Um, down here 
uh, the spruce, almost as good as the spruce. No, actually it's better probably because of the three logs versus the 30% nighttime growth. Yeah, so assuming even growth, uh, they, they take 300 seconds to grow. I don't know what, what a night, day night cycle is though in terms of time. So I can't do the math on that. Plum trees for plums, and that's it. Acacia koa, we decided no. Black spruce. I don't know. Those could be worth it. Given the extra log. Those might be the... Actually, might be the best ones. Yeah, those... The, uh, the black spruces might be the best ones. 300 seconds, three logs, uh, no nighttime growth, versus 300 seconds, two logs, 30% nighttime growth. Yeah, the black spruce might be our best option. So we want to move the cacao tree. So let's go ahead and do that. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, I guess I did it now. Uh, automated growth. Nope, automated growth. Put that in here. And I don't know how many of these we're actually going to need. That's fine, too. Uh, Zeppelin Depot. Thank you. You go here. We need to have a... Uh, plush train. Outserter there. You need to take both uh, cacao beans and logs. Um, yeah, because we can't take them both. That's a problem. Because we can't take them both out of there. Unless you can add a... No, I don't think we can. Um, because once this gets backed up with cacao, then it's not going to produce any logs. Well, that's fine, because if if it does, then we'll just have to do what grows here. Nothing. Okay. Well, this is a uh, plant grow here, uh, or no, up here. It grows up there. That's where the mushrooms grow. Did anything else grow up here? No. Uh, farm? No? No, okay. Sorry. Sorry, little friend. Alright, and then we have entry point here. And that'll take in the cacao. This is just going to have to empty out over time. Or, I could uh, delete that for a moment. I could do this and transfer all of that cacao and, for that matter, the logs. Uh, elsewhere. And here come the, the drones. Oh yeah, the drones are way faster than the Zeppelins, as we just proved. Uh, so we're gonna have to go and deal with that. I don't know how you delete the mining robots that you don't longer need. The delete button doesn't work. And then the logs, I think, just went elsewhere. I don't think they came here. Nope, they did come here. Okay. So then this needs to get tied in to uh, here. And for now, it can be tied into here. But I also want to tie it in over here. And I think I'm going to line up some Zeppelin depots. There's Zeppelin depot. Uh, right in here. Like this. Uh, make it accept logs, but only accepting logs from this one. Nope, not you, sorry. Here. And then we want a depot exit there. And I want a... nope, can't do it that way. I want one of these here. Uh, it's not really what I want either. Can I do... Now I'm gonna have to probably do this like this. And then do this one, oh, this one like this. Yeah, and then delete that one. Okay. And then we need an inserter. Pick up, put down right there. And so this will bring in the logs from 
that one specific place as it can and put them in here. And that takes care of the three log sources from fruit trees. And then we finally need to add in, and I think that's it. If you count cacao beans as a fruit, which I think they technically are. At least a seed. Uh, I think that's technically it though. Um, that goes there, that goes there. If the Zeppelin wants to take a can uh, for right now, that, but otherwise that should be taken care of. But we're out of logs, which is what I expected. So then we need to take a good chunk of the grasslands here, or possibly the frostlands here, to grow the trees. There's an icy ground. Did I misplace it? Grove. There. There. No. Not one of these big enough to prove it out. So let's just see. Yeah, that says no. Okay, now I'm confused. We had it selected before, right? Oh, it is. Okay, so it is this area. And that will actually work, but that's a really, really small amount. And I don't know if that's going to be enough. So, I mean, we can make them fit. We can fit a few more in here. No, I don't want you to build, sorry. Uh, we could make them fit in here. We can fit a few more, and we can you can maybe you can stagger them around. But I wish I could tell for sure what the most efficient tree is. Wish I could do the math. I think this one's the most efficient, but that thirty percent in knowing how long a night is makes a difference. But if we just take this like this, and for now we can just start with two in the largest areas that are frosty land, like that maybe. And we can put down a uh, Zeppelin Depot for each one. And that one fit just about perfect. And then this will be just uh, logs. Oh, this needs to be selected. Black Spurs. Black Spurs. This will be just logs. There and there. And then those will output to a special uh, Zeppelin Depot that's here. Uh, up against that, like that. That way I can put more sawmills in here if I need more sawmills. And so these are only linked to this one. And this will have an exit. Uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Should be two away. So I can have this little inserter belt here. Uh, just so it's definitely side loading and not outputting on top of, because that might. Or might not. Actually, I didn't test that. Exit, get there, and then insert her, get there, and you're taking in logs, right? Yeah, that works. And these will take a bit to grow. And that's not saying that we can't plant any of the other trees either, because we could. Um, we could plant a 
Who's the other good one? The uh, Joshua Tree, maybe? No. The other spruces. We can plant whatever we want, actually, just plant enough of them to make a difference. But I think that'll do it. So what'll happen is, eventually we'll have enough food here backed up that this will be full, potentially, this could be full of dates, this could be full of plums, the other one could be full of cacao, cacao beans, and then they won't be outputting any logs anymore. So then, and uh, yeah, the cacao ones come here too. And so then this will fill in, hopefully correctly, uh, the amount of logs that we have left over and take care of it that way. All right, so stored energy is full. Um, we are mining iron like crazy. I'm not gonna be horribly picky about which one of these wins out of these three. Uh, because it doesn't really matter as long as it's getting made. But we need to... Wait a minute, why does that not work? Oh, because it's full. Well, iron's full. Right. Okay. Copper is still getting made because... Yeah. And gold, we've already run through all the gold. Wow. That didn't last long. Hopefully we don't need much. Although... Do we even know what uses gold? Blocks? Rose gold blocks, probably? Yeah. Crushed limonite. Uh, let's see. You should produce rose gold, and that's it. Or constructing a settler statue or a train statue. We should build those. And then rose gold, also used for those? Oh, we need... No. No. Those don't use gold, they use rose gold. Okay. Well, we'll deal with that later. Okay, sorry, I had to take a drink. Let's, um, so let's, let's add in... Gosh, we're still not getting... Wait, why you're not... Oh, that's why you're not work. There we go. And right now, we're so starved, and we may always be starved. I don't know how this is going to work out. But at least now, we're able to output everything we need. And that's working out well. Uh, but I don't know how much more... I don't think we could handle more than that for two sawmills. I may have to do something a little differently here. Because that's basically consuming a full belt. So, that's about... One belt is about two sawmills worth, which is four items every ten seconds. Maybe a little bit. It's hard to tell because of throughput, but maybe a little bit more. Maybe it's about two items per second or something. Or no. Four items every ten seconds is 0.4 items per second. So maybe it's like 0.5 items per second on the belt. I don't know. We could use some of that data, I suppose. But it doesn't say how fast. Okay, so uh, the next thing we want to work on after the uh, after getting that straightened out, or at least somewhat straightened out, is probably the automated uh, uh, workshops to replace this stuff here. So we already have the wood boards getting made, so now we just need to make uh, the wooden parts and the wooden handles. In order to do that, though, we're going to have to take this belt away from here in another direction. Are we, are we making enough charcoal? What else is charcoal used for besides power? Bricks. That's maybe what we should... Oh, we need, we need it to make the rose gold, too. Elemental extractor. We need it for the steel. Yeah, we need a lot more for... We need a lot more going on. Which means... Then we're gonna need a lot more trees being grown. Like a lot more. And that also means that maybe this, hmm. I'm trying to think of how to work this out.
But yeah, we're gonna need a lot more trees being grown. So we could add some more up here to this area. Like this, like that, and then like this, and like that. Black spruce. And it is growing in the spots where it isn't marked to grow. So that's what we want. That's fine. Log. Log train. can come down here as well. We might end up, like I said, just having multiple different kinds of trees feeding into this. Because once we get through the fruit trees, it doesn't matter. But we're also going to need probably some more automated uh, things here. So let's actually build another drone port. Just to try and get that stuff shipped around as much as possible. But I think we're going to need a separate... Uh, belt going to separate sets of these and bring a lot more charcoal than what I have so maybe I should have put it started it back here one there one there one there I've already built myself into a box it doesn't take me long I mean I can build that onto this I can get one more charcoal in here but I think I want to have four and six, two, three, which means that this isn't going to work. I wonder what happens when an inserter outputs onto belt. Like if I took this this way. Or that way. It came around, went back. Okay, that's good. And then if I put in a, uh, just a regular depot here. I can just use the rock. We have a bunch of it. And then a depot exit there. An inserter here. And then I want an inserter like here. Can we build automated groves here? No. Okay, so that frost is different than the frost up north. Okay. Uh, you can use it as a stockpile. Good. Somebody come and put rock in here. There you go. Oh, I need to set that as well. I yeah, see. So that can't keep up with the belt speed. Okay, the inserters won't I'll put onto a full belt. I actually was keeping up with the belt speed. Interesting. Okay, so they can't keep up with a full belt, and that's what I wanted to test. So, oops, wrong button. Delete that, delete that. Spread spread the mess all over the place. I didn't need these. Uh, let's do, in that case, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. No, let me move this onto this side. And we don't need the little thing here for that one. Exit here. And then I can target each one of these now to that one instead. Actually, let's pop that out too. Please, thank you. Here. Right here. And of course,
And I want to take one, two, three, four, I take these out. And this out. I'm going to let them use this as a stockpile, too. Uh, didn't I put that on one of these other ones? Yeah, let's take that off. And you're going to have an output problem. Uh, nope. Wrong way. That way. Wow, that didn't work. Oh boy, did that not work. Apparently you can't reverse belts either. There you go. I need to pick up all these boards. <laughs> Such luck. Uh, these two need to go away. Need to get power down here to the end. And then I can put in... One, two, three more kilns. Nope, not that way. This can go here. Dang it, it did it again. Uh, get that brick off the belt. May not have actually been there. I hope not. Okay, four and six should be enough, uh, enough, whatever this stuff's called, charcoal. Except that this is in a bad spot. Because this one will never pick it up. Never. Unless it gets from here. Either way, this isn't enough coming in. So let's try another depot exit. Here. And then one of these here. And that also needs to be set to log. And then I don't care which one works. Charcoal is all backed up. That's good. We have a mess to clean up, though. But that's the way the game is played. Do... This. Set it to charcoal. Depot exit here. Fair belt here. And then inserter here. Also charcoal. Stockpile code, good. I can do the same thing with boards down here if I can make it fit. Yep, I can make it fit. Depot. Here. I assume someone's coming to clean up these boards. Reserved by somebody. Probably make some more transport bots too. I don't know where they're supposed to go, but it's not here. I don't have these outputs linked to anything yet. Because I'm hoping that they'll pick them up from here first and use them for whatever we're trying to make. Which isn't much anymore. I don't know why these are reserved. Because they're not going anywhere. Okay, so after this... 
Uh, the rest of this charcoal then needs to be able to go to brick making. Uh, so we could start that maybe even in this area here someplace. We don't need a whole lot of bricks. Um, as is evidenced by the fact that we're easily keeping up with one kiln here. Because uh, they're not used in any sort of production. They're just used for construction. So one automated... Well, it's actually used to produce... Earth extract. Although... I still don't really know what these are for. So it's for stuff that's not been implemented yet. Or very expensive exports, I guess. The elemental extractor. We do, do we have any ancient building parts someplace? We have to import them. We could do that, I suppose. To make the elemental extractor. That's like an end game sink kind of item. So we could use some bricks, but I think still one, one automated uh, kiln is probably enough. 15 seconds, I'm assuming is the same for both. Did I not make a dummy automated kiln? Oh, duh, it's the ones we're making with. Yeah. It's it's these. It's dumb dumb. It's still 15 seconds there, so I think one every 15 seconds is probably enough. Which means of course that we need to have uh one of these dedicated while that's running. It should be fine. So let's just go ahead and put in... Let's see, these need clay in. I wonder which input is which. That's the question. Is that... In depot or just a regular depot? Just a regular depot will work. I put that here. Nope. There. Brick. And then the depot. Here. With an exit here. This will be clay. And then we can have a inserter here. And eventually here. Assuming the charcoal can go into that slot and clay can come into this slot. Which is a big assumption. But once we run out of clay, we're done too, unless we can import it. Which I assume we probably can. There. Right, we need an output there, and then we need to have a Zeppelin depot for this one. Entry point there. Good, it works. And I just noticed the time. I think we probably need to uh, leave this here for now and return to it in uh, in another in the, in the next stream uh, or next episode. Jeez, we're now uh, making bricks. We've expanded our uh, wood and board and thing construction here. This is working as I hoped, uh, where these are only outputting when the space is clear. Actually, they're not outputting there at all, because they're conflicting on this spot with that. Okay, we're going to move this again. Maybe I'll move it. I'll move that off camera, and we will uh, come back in, and I'll show you what I've done. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.